Hi guys, Charlie the Mariner here. I've read that uh, on the Hereford Fans Forum that uh, Mike Hock will be out. At... Uh, 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 that's no, no, why no, no, we no, don't no. let you yeah. read texts and emails. Hockless, right. I think it is. Yes, Hockless. Mike Hockless. <laughs> OK, let's get to our first, straight away to our first dedication. Dear Chris, please say a big hello to Connie Lingus, who's 69 on Tuesday. She'll be enjoying my meat and two veg on Sunday at 12, which are all the very best, and tell her I look forward to seeing her when she comes. Thanks ever so much, says Ivan Ardon. And he says, uh, please say hello to Bill as well. And that comes from Ivan uh, going out to uh, Connie in Thurnby Lodge here in Leicestershire. I was just thinking, Nicky, comparing the two cities, how, how does Milan strike you? Milan? Oh, I'm in Athens. Sorry, what am I talking about? <laughs> I've gone completely gaga. But there are similarities. Mil in that you don't understand what anybody's saying no, there, Milan or in Liv fact here. Milan and Liverpool, there are similarities. Milan, <laughs> Milan is, a, is a chic uh, fashion capital of the world, full of, full of beautiful people. Yeah. And Liverpool is... Uh, is as well. As Steady. well, yes. That's well, I was right. just, do you know, I've just had a complete mental breakdown. For a it's moment. all right. You're just, I suddenly you're just, thought you were in Milan. You're overcome with red mist I'm this overcome, morning. I'm overcome with emotion. I've got no idea exactly what it takes to get onto the registrar of, of sex offenders and whether that should necessarily preclude you from any sort of job, really. I mean, I, I guess you need to know the details of these things. Well, that's right. I mean, I feel quite liberal about giving somebody else another chance and so on because you can never tell that somebody has been uh, fingered by uh, people and so on and uh, indeed there's no record. But it's a viable moment of, of, of changing course for me. And you blew George Benson off, as a manner of speaking? <laughs> <laughs> now that I don't remember. <laughs> he was the headline act, wasn't he? And then you changed places. <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I can't remember. Uh, no, George was on the on the bill too. Oh, there there was a. You know, there was the most. Uh... Well, I'm listening to the girls, and I can see how you both feel. But I think Al Qaeda is a lethally dangerous man, um, and I think that he would go for the prince big time. So I have to think, could Prince Harry do something else towards this war than actually be out there? Because I think, you know, I, yeah, I think they'd be out to kill him. So I think Qaeda needs to be found and buried forever, so to speak. Yes, so like we shouldn't allow that. This is not good. Women always get what they want, apparently. That's according to Goran Ivanovic there. Never one to sit on the fence. I have a feeling he These may stay away from the likes of the Williams set, sisters for a break. while after that comment. Dot, we thank you for that. Dot Davis reporting live, as you can hear, from under the umpire's chair on Centre Court. The needs of the people involved when it comes to development. Powerful stuff from Phillips Extra tonight. Thanks, Roger. Me personally, I'm with Mrs Pascoe. Fuck the government, fuck the planners. <laughs> It's uh, 6.31. Should we get the headlines uh, with Simon Moffat? We'd just like to apologise for uh, I'd like that to apologise well. immensely. The Pacific nation of Tonga has begun a period of mourning following the sudden death of a controversial son of the king. Former Prince Fatafehi Alaibahama Mao Tukuahu, the second son of King Taufa Ahau Topu, was stripped of his title after he fled the kingdom and married a commoner. He's thought to have died of a heart attack on Tuesday. BBC Radio 4, the news at 8 o'clock. The chairman of the Commons Committee investigating BBC allegations that the government exaggerated its evidence over Saddam Hussein's weapons of mass destruction has accused the reporter involved, Andrew Gilligan... I apologise for this, somebody's left their telephone in the studio. So sorry. I'll start again. The chairman of the Commons Committee investigating BBC allegations that the government exaggerated... And Belfast, you'll be happy to know, is quite a, quite a favourite with people from London. But you and, know, uh, they, yeah. they are referring to Belfast as the new Dublin. I don't understand. Is it not the same place? What? Belfast isn't in Dublin? What? <laughs> it's Northern Ireland, isn't it? Oh, right. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't realise that Belfast is in Northern Oh, God. <laughs> are you picking up your AS level results in, uh, in <laughs> geography, geography today? I was, I was rubbish at geography. So if you do get stuck in a lot of traffic, at least you can get out and uh, spread your legs a bit. And uh, no, you've got that. That wasn't meant to be said. Soulful Session with the Dream Team on Radio 1. So it's Sunday night at... Oh, fuck. See, that's what I'm saying. Don't say fuck or bugger. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Sunday night, is it, <laughs> anymore? Saturday night. Saturday night. And it's three to four this morning. Okay. Is it? Because yeah, it, it's the only nice and girl show after this. Bloody Annie. Special. Right. 
soulful session with the Dream Team on Radio 1. So they've cut our show in half this week. It's only one hour, uh, Saturday night, Sunday morning, soulful session with the Dream Team. But the uh, minutes have been cut, but the quality is still the same. Tell me about As are the calibre of our... Which tennis star has been known to enjoy a fag behind the back of court number one when he's not playing? Is it A, Tim Henman, B, Roger Federer, or C, Rafael Nadal? <laughs> nice, easy one to start. Uh, yeah. Don't there, take are so too there are so many sure. answers there that I presume for legal reasons we can I was going to say, yes. can you read that question yeah. again? Which <laughs> tennis star has been known to enjoy a fag behind court number one? That's what Billie Jean said. <laughs> Give me a guess, anyway. American historians have discovered what they think is the earliest recording of the human voice, made on a device which scratched sound waves onto paper blackened by smoke. It was made in 1860, 17 years before Thomas Edison first demonstrated the gramophone, and featured an excerpt from a French song, Au Claire de la Lune. The, the award-winning screenwriter Abby Mann has died at the age of 80. He won an Academy Award in 1961 for Judgment at Nuremberg. Abby, excuse me, sorry. Abby Mann also won several Emmys, <laughs> including, including one in 1973 for a, f for a film which featured a, poli <laughs> a police detective called... The character on whom a long-running TV series was eventually based. It's ten minutes past eight. Fighting between Shia militias and Iraqi government forces is into its third day in the south of the country. General Singerok's unpopular replacement has now been dismissed, with the army's popular chief of staff, Jack Twat, taking over. A 40-foot sperm whale, which was stranded in the Firth of Forth for more than four days, is now thought to be swimming towards open waters again. It freed itself late last night. Marine experts are hoping to establish this morning whether the whale is finally back at sea. Good luck to the whale. Ten past eight is the time. Hello, Clive Connor here with Music and Memories. Our theme for this week is Come, spelt C-O-M-E. But to start the programme, we have an entirely different spelling of that word, because it's Tommy Handley singing Come, Pretty one, come. Oh, so numb, a big fat girl said as she dived off my dumb. Come, pretty one, come, pretty one, come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Come, pretty one, come, pretty one. 